Hi guys, so Fagun Shah here from Integration Lab and today we are going to learn about how to use webhooks as a pro in your automations even if you are a non-techie person, okay? So webhooks are the future of the integrations. Uh, polling is the old way how you like use the integrations, okay? So let's first start with the what is the difference between different kind of triggers there are two type of main triggers inside automations one is polling based trigger and another one is webhook based trigger so in polling based trigger uh, basically this is uh, the on the left side there is a trigger sas from which you want to get a new data and for example this is your public connect okay this image is we are just uh, seeing is from sendingblue.com okay and basically it is showing that uh, polling is something like you ask for a uh, new data every f uh, predefined period of time for example public connect will go to facebook uh, lead ads and ask if are there any new leads available if there are no leads available then there will be nothing triggered inside public connect okay but public connect need to contact their facebook server every five minutes or every 10 minutes whatever time they have set up okay and if there is a new data it will trigger the workflow so in this case in the polling case it uses too many too much resources from public side as well and from the uh, SaaS application side as well, okay? So we do not want that, that, that is not an optimized way to achieve uh, automations or create automations, okay? That's why the webhooks are future where the trigger application itself sends the data to the public connect whenever there is a new data is available, okay? and in return public connect sends them okay we received your data something like that in the response okay so that is called webhooks okay now there have been some kind of research this is a project from uh, zapier itself okay this is an independent video this is not uh, webhooks are independent of platform there is no dependency like it only works in Publi or zapier or integromat it works in all automation platforms okay so basically this is an initiative by zapier let me show you the okay so yeah as you can see it is an initiative by zapier 2013 to 2017 so what i want to show you is uh the race hooks are 66 percent uh, 66 times more efficient than traditional polling okay so basically race hooks are webhook set up automatically by integration platform so they are actual webhook only okay so there has been a study done by zapier that out of 30 million times when they tried to do polling when they try to ask the trigger application if they have uh, any new data or not they only got 4 lakh 60 thousand of results from that particular polls okay so which is only 1.5 percent efficiency right but in race hooks it has triggered 5 lakh 47 thousand times and it is 100 percent efficient because again trigger application sends the data to the integration uh, application probably in integromat or zapier okay so webooks are much better okay race hooks are just a kind of a webhook okay so this is much better and in this particular thing they are saying that wrist hooks are be better than webhooks because people do not need to like copy paste uh, things inside the application so it makes it much more easier for non-techy pers persons okay so yeah webhooks are the future and even zapier also says that uh, webhooks are much more preferable Publi is a webhook first platform they always prefer webhook triggers instead of polling based triggers okay so today uh, we are going to learn about how to use webhooks uh, like a pro because it is very important part of your automations right now and in future as well okay so yes let's get started and before that just thank you for 150 subscribers and thank you for more than 50 likes on my facebook page as well okay thank you okay friends so we have already uh, 
now learned that what is the difference between the webhooks uh, and polling now let's try to uh, do some things uh, with webhooks okay so we create a new public connect workflow select the webhook as a trigger as soon as you do that you will get this particular url which looks very similar to your another workflows webhook url but there is a difference in this last part of the url okay so webhooks url are always unique inside each and every public connect workflow even if you share the workflow with someone else the webhook url will be auto generated again uniquely 100% unique okay so let's copy this as soon as you click on the copy button it will load some time and the button will change to waiting for webhook response and this circle will start to run okay we just need to paste this url in here now to just do the basic testing you just need to add a question mark okay and for example we need to pass the first name and last name okay so i am giving the first name like this so i am typing fagun and last name like l name is equal to sha and i hit enter okay so as soon i as soon as i do that you can see that it returned us some kind of response that response accepted and when we go to go back to public connect you will see that we have received the first name and last name so this is the most basic way to test the webhook many times uh, people say that in the forum public forum that webhooks are not working so this is the easiest way to check if public connect webhook is working from public side or not okay uh now webhook is something like uh, a pre structure way so you need to map this values in your next steps right so if this one change it will uh, throw you error for example let me use the text formatter okay and in text formatter we are just doing a text basic formatting and let's choose a string okay f name okay and we want to it in all upper case right so yeah this is how it should look now if we go back here and change the label name from f name to first name and hit enter it will still show you the response accepted because public did capture your webhook okay but if we go to history it will show you here that the return status is false okay why because there was no data with the f name okay so it will not execute your workflow successfully so this is the issue you will face in case the structure of the webhook is getting change in case the labels of the webhook are getting change okay so now there are two ways you can capture the data using webhook okay let me show you that why are using an actual real life webhook example okay so let's copy this webhook url again uh, click on recapture the response again okay now the circle is running we come back to a website where i have embedded the element of form let me click on here and let's do the action after submit we will remove the emails and uh, yeah let's click on webhook we click on webhook let's paste our webhook click on update okay so now webhook is set we will open the same page in the new okay and we send it let's wait for the response from the web Uh, elementor okay so now you can see that it did send the name email and message and it also sent the form id and form name as well so this depends on the app different applications some applications uh, let you particularly choose what data you want to send and some application just send the data in a predefined format by them selves okay for example elementor by default sends all the fields data plus form id and form name 
okay for example swipe pages only sends the data you have chose okay it does not send like url or anything else okay so it totally depends on the application you are using now there can be another case where you need to capture the multiple items uh, in a comma separated values right for example uh, if you are using uh, the woocommerce as a trigger then there is a webhook as a you need to paste in the woocommerce settings right and you also need to capture different product details there can be more than one items more than one products in a single order right so you need to capture them like this in a array format so for that you just need to click on the simple response turn off so it will be advanced response it will capture these things as an array okay and you need to capture the response after that okay so that's the difference between simple response and advanced response now uh, what if we want to check if publi webhooks are working properly or not or my application is sending the proper webhook data or not so there is a website for that which is called webhook.site uh, you can open the webhook.site like this and it will automatically generate a webhook url for you you can click on copy to clipboard right you can just go here uh, for example we are testing on the elementor you can change this particular publi to webhook.site url click on update and let's check okay so as soon as we do that you can see that we captured this detail in here okay so this is another way to check if your application is de uh, sending data to publi or webhook.site properly or not okay so you can check it from both ways one is by just copy pasting publish webhook url in here and just send data is equal to yes okay something like this uh, you need to click on here as well and just hit enter and yeah this should work properly okay response accepted right and yeah so this is the way we can 100% uh, sure that publi webhook is working now to check if uh, our application webhook uh, is sending data properly or not you can use the webhook dot site now there are two types of webhook uh, we have mainly seen one is like inbound webhook and another one is outbound webhook so basically inbound webhook are just like api endpoints they used to capture the data inside the application right and outbound webhooks are used to send data outside of the application just like uh, elementor supports outbound webhook so it sends data to another application okay but elementor does not support inbound webhooks so it cannot capture the data via webhook right so that's the difference between inbound and outbound webhooks webhooks can also be used like send data to another workflow for example we just create another workflow in here this is a very important thing where you want to use same trigger for two different workflows but they only let you add one webhook okay for example you want to send data to two of the public connects workflow okay but elementor only allows the one webhook url then what will what will you do so for that you can just create another test to create a new workflow select the webhook as a trigger here also okay copy that particular thing okay first we need to capture the data in this particular one first workflow so we will paste the publish url here go to the first workflow click on yes and yes okay so Fagun Shah, Shah Fagun Android, one, two, and three, all selected. Sent. Capture the data, and now we want to pass that data to another workflow. So for that, in the second step, always add API 
don't worry this is not going to be tacky at all just select the post copy this webhook url from the second workflow and paste it here click on set parameters right and just copy paste the values from here like name email we will map the values as well okay so name and email and let's suppose message so let's map the message value as well okay and click on save and send this request so now this way it will run two workflow using only one webhook as a trigger right so in elementor we have only added one webhook url of public connect but whenever this workflow is trigger in the second step it will automatically pass this data to the second workflow right and yeah that way it will be uh, executing the second workflow as well okay so this is how you pass the data between two workflows using webhook okay guys so this is all you need to know about webhooks right and yeah after using uh, watching this video i am sure you can taste the webhook data immediately you can like troubleshoot your webhook urls immediately right you can know if it is not working from public side or if it is not working from your saas application side or what is happening right and you can you will be also be able to pass the data between two different workflows right and you can trigger as many webhook as you want inside public connect okay so yes this is it for today's uh, webhook video and yeah don't uh, forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that and yeah i will try to post at least one video per week okay so goodbye for now see you on the uh, next video bye